It was one of our most popular stories of the year. Help Me Hank's hidden camera investigation exposing an unlicensed woman advertising dental work. It was a bizarre story that took several turns after our initial story aired. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester shows us what was done to stop her. Brace face anyone? The ads themselves look absurd, but the rock bottom price is intriguing some. Top and bottom braces 300 total, tightening for 50, fixing 10 to 20, and whitening for 65. The woman behind the ads unknowingly met with our undercover producer on the porch of her Detroit home, and we quickly realized this, unfortunately, is not a joke. I can understand you being nervous. Have you even seen my work? I seen the Facebook page. What are you trying to get? What's wrong with your teeth? You see how like mm -hmm. right there? But the rest of my is straight. You gotta get the whole thing done. People be straight up within two months. My confrontation and more of the hidden camera exchange in a moment. Right now, meet Dr. Robert DePilla, a trusted and respected cosmetic dentist with offices in Birmingham, Detroit, and New York. Dentists and orthodontists, we're not just mechanics of the mouth, we are doctors of the mouth. And to me, that's, that's paramount. Dr. DePillo, like many who've seen these ads, upset to learn this is actually happening. It does happen, and the consequences could be severe. It's about the, the maintenance and also the follow-up and also the diagnosing. And like I said earlier, it's not about just putting the brackets on and putting a wire across. And, and unfortunately, you know, what, what I see is anyone could go on Amazon and buy brackets and wires and adhesive to do that. But getting dental work like this done by someone not properly trained could cause severe damage. As you can have TMJ issues, muscle spasms, you can have loose teeth, you can have teeth that can come out. And state investigators make it clear, those performing procedures like these not only violating ethical standards, they could be facing a felony charge. I've been in touch with state licensing board officials, the Michigan Dental Association, and now Detroit Police. Investigations getting underway to stop this woman from continuing this activity. I, I told you I'm nervous. Hey, I, I told you, I'm, like, are you, because I don't know, you know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. for all my entire life I've used the dentist, you know, I've gone to the dentist and stuff like that. Okay. Like, are you, you know, because are, are, you, are you licensed? Yes, I am. You the names this is, woman gave us not connected to anyone licensed as a dentist, orthodontist, or dental oh, hygienist. Are you performing dental procedures in these homes? No. Are you doing braces? No. When you have a procedure like that, you have to go to an office, you have to deal with a dentist. Right. This is, you've got people just showing up at your porch, giving you money to get braces on their teeth. This is that crazy. That person didn't even give me no money. This is crazy. What, what was that person here for? That person didn't just give me no money for no braces. Was he here for braces? No, he wasn't. He wasn't? No, he wasn't. You wanna know how I know you're lying? Tell me because that person is an undercover producer for us. Wow. And moments after the confrontation wrapped, a new message posted on her Facebook page, clearly upset about being busted. The most surprising part, a comment, a woman writing, so wait, you can't do braces anymore? No doubt investigators taking a closer look at those Facebook and Instagram ads and also that hidden camera footage trying to learn more about this woman and what's really going on. As the investigation moves forward, I'll keep you posted. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. Yeah, that was one of the most bizarre stories that we had. Still shocks me to see that and hear those responses yeah. and everything mm -hmm. like that.